Hi, welcome to ArcEng 2013. We've got students from Canterbury, Wellington, Victoria University, um, Auckland University and Unitech. So structural engineers and architects from across New Zealand have come to Auckland for the last three days and the theme of this year's project brief is uh, medium density housing in Auckland. The site this year is a uh, site near the Mount Eden train station. So all of the groups have uh, on their own back gone up and done a site visit to, uh, to see what the local community is looking like because that's a big part of the design brief is to show that the, the medium density building and mixed use development is, is going to work in harmony with the, with the wider environment and uh, the use of public transport and how that impacts on the design of the medium density urban environment, big part of the judging. We were very fortunate to get Gerald Blunt from Auckland City Council to give a great talk about the unitary plan and some of the implications of what they're thinking about over the next 20 years. And also we've got Pamela Bell from Prefab New Zealand who gave a great overview of the world's best practice and prefabrication techniques for building high quality stuff off-site, speeding up construction and on-site uh, detailing. This year's site visit, we, uh, we, we went to the Q Theatre building down on Queen Street and uh, we were led through there by Pip Cheshire, winner of the NZIA 2012 Architect of the Year Award and the structural engineer Tony. Um, they took us behind the scenes, in and around, uh, behind the sound stage, underneath the, uh, the stage itself and, and uh, all the nooks and crannies that uh, typically the architect and engineer get to see but no one after that uh, gets to look at it. So that was, that was a big highlight for everyone. Franz is delighted to be involved as the principal sponsor of the ArcEng 2013 event. Um, our whole purpose for being in existence is to help improve standards in the building industry and one of the things that this competition addresses is that issue of cooperation between different um, sectors of the industry so this is an ideal opportunity for architects and engineers to get a chance early in their career to work together on a project. We lifted the game this year by creating a $5,000 first prize and um, you can really tell these guys have gone the extra mile trying to uh, really impress the judges. All of the projects so far are very different, very creative um, and every single team has done a fantastic combination of getting the architecture and the structural engineering as part of a, a design dynamic at the front end which is exactly what we're hoping to do in ArcEng. My name's Peter Ejetskulos, I'm a fifth year architectural student at Victoria University in Wellington. So it's a lot to do in 24 hours but um, it's really enjoyable and it's great to actually meet students from other architectural universities and engineering schools of course because uh, we have absolutely no interaction with them um, at university whatsoever. My name is Ewan, uh, I'm an engineer uh, student, undergraduate from Unitech here in Auckland. My impression of the Archeng workshop is it's been a really good environment to sort of interact with architects. This has been really refreshing to sort of see how the relationship can work. Um, I've got a much better understanding of what the architects actually do. Like I, I just thought they produced a pretty picture and sort of made it difficult for us to get it to stand up right but now I actually realise there's, there's a whole lot more into the design and what they conceptualise. And... I'm Lynette, I'm studying civil engineering down at Canterbury University. It's quite different to what we're normally used to in the classroom and I mean architects have pretty wild ideas and we have to kind of sort of incorporate structural systems into it and that's a challenge. This is the first time we've been involved in this sort of design and architecture and structural engineering paradigm. There's lots of learning to be done, definitely. There's a lot of benefits to precast concrete that we hadn't considered before, but after doing a bit of research, um, we've found out that it is actually a very valuable material. Concrete has been used quite a lot of structure that's kind of hidden. It's not always exposed, um, and I think that's down to maybe uh, an idea that it's very heavy weight, but there are so many different variations of concrete and so many different things you can do these days. We're sort of dealing with that precast idea which, which gives us so much more options and flexibility in the design and that's one of the main things that I've picked up as an engineer is the ease of the design, um, being able to fabricate off-site and then build. One of the go-to materials now will be concrete rather than some of the more traditional methods.
Archangel experience was really intense. Yeah, yeah, real intense. Given a brief and then basically like one and a half days to get the final product. Yeah, learning to work yeah. with an architect, like I've learned so many different ways of looking at things. and It's really fun. Yeah. Just don't plan to sleep. <laughs> yeah, don't. Not. Basically, as an engineer, I actually I actually expected to do all these calculations, but really it was all conceptual kind of ideas with it. And I really worked with an architect and really got new knowledge of how to design. I didn't really have any idea how I, um, engineers really work, so it's quite a shock to me. And then there's a constant feedback from there. So, that, yeah, and it was a great experience bringing these two disciplines together. I learned a lot because we don't normally um, interact with architects, and having an architectural student here um, to give me concepts um, for me to materialise. It gives me a balance of making the buildings actually buildable. I think it's a great challenge. It's just a really good opportunity to be under pressure mm. and have some fun as well. It's something you don't cover at uni. It's a totally rewarding experience and it's um, fairly prestigious, I think, yes. and it's definitely something you can present to um, other future clients. The main thing was trying to work together, I guess. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm really interested in architecture and he's really interested in engineering, but he is the architect and I'm the engineer, so um, that, that was really fun to work with as well. Definitely go for it and you'll learn so much and if nothing else, you'll make some new friends mm. um, and it's a great thing to actually try to the portfolio. The winner is um, the Living Walls, Lynette and Anthea. So, uh, well I'm very um, proud. Of yes, I, I think definitely architects and engineers should interact more often mm -hmm. and have this opportunity to yeah. really work together in sort of a pressured situation. Yeah, I think it happens in the real life as well, and. Um, the most successful projects you see will be a collaboration between the two disciplines. I would definitely recommend everybody to apply. This has been a really fun experience and you learn, to, um, you learn a lot and you meet lots of cool people and definitely great for building networks. <laughs>